Welcome everyone to today's video. I finally took a quick look on some issue I had with my latest T2 Linux builds for quite some months. Let me show you that I noticed for quite some months that all the kernel and startup messages would disappear. And this was not the case for the last 10 or 20 years. This is a new phenomenon of the last two, three or maybe even six months of builds. And similar to the 220 character should be enough for everyone problem. Of course I noticed this and it was inconvenient for me because I don't have here any scroll back or messages of all the startup things where something may have gone wrong. I finally wanted to investigate this. So the login prompt on classic systems without for example systemd is the etc init tab and the program querying for the password here is a getty on modern Linux systems at least. That is some alternative Getty implementation used for Linux for over two decades already or so. And you noticed I even recently changed this from this DevFS naming on the latest build. This is simply TTY1 and so on. Although I prefer this slightly more modern names, I changed this so that the symlinks still exist with our UDEV configuration because I actually like this more readable device naming but for default boots without even UDFD, for example, very vintage systems without a init RD. I wanted that this always works and not sometimes errors out and when those are not created. But anyway, this is my portable installation that is already slightly older, a year or so. So these are not yet the new names, but this is not the problem. So this prints an issue and on the first terminal we have here so ls local line flag, apparently so. i is no issue and this is init string, some light white init string there. And I have no idea why this worked, it, at least it did for 20 years, because I could not really find in util Linux that this was changed recently. And um, I checked the, even the, the git and such, I will probably not repeat this in the video now. But, um, but I then came over this no clear thing there. And normally I prefer to find out why things are not working anymore. But in this case I simply couldn't find it out in, in some 20 or 30 minutes. So I don't really have more time for this. So I even downgraded the util Linux to the last major update a year ago. But this also didn't fix this issue. And so right now I'm not really sure what changed here. If it's even older Util Linux or if it's some bug fixed in the C library or Linux kernel that this screen clearing is happening now. So anyway, it looks to me that the more future proof thing here is to simply add this no clear argument there. Do not clear the screen before prompting the login name. I guess we want this on the first be somewhere here, local, no clear, and such. And let's reboot and see if this fixes the issue. This is all the small things that not only people maintaining a distribution need to take care and hunt all the regressions each other month or week, but also in general, if you work with software programs, applications, and libraries, there is always something that can unfortunately change and stop working. So and now with this no clear Lexus obviously works again and I find it certainly much more useful to get information about my system boot. So I hope you found this small little update useful and maybe even learn some new information about inner workings of Unix systems. Don't forget to share, like and subscribe and I hope to see you soon for all the next videos to come.